Many people have the completely wrong impression of what Whole Foods sells. They think Whole Foods sells products that are entirely non-GMO, products that are clean, that don't have heavy metals, that don't have pesticides, that don't have glyphosate or herbicides. That is completely false. Whole Foods Market all across the country sells products to its customers that contain heavy metals, that contain glyphosate, pesticides, herbicides, and GMOs. The company has created a false impression where many of their customers think that they don't sell any GMOs or they don't sell anything artificial. They, they've got a sign out on their store in North Austin that says, nothing artificial ever. And then inside the store, things that they sell are artificial, including genetically modified organisms that are, that are part of many, many products on the shelves at Whole Foods. So this claim that they have nothing artificial ever, it's a fraudulent claim. And much of the marketing of Whole Foods to its customers is really just greenwashing. It's, uh, it's invoking the terminology and the keywords and the concepts that appeal to health conscious consumers without actually making good on those assertions and promises. Whole Foods is a very deceptive company. Even the name Whole Foods is deeply uh, deceiving to its customers because much of what it sells isn't a whole food, it's really a processed food, or it's a genetically modified food, or it's a food that's grown in China with toxic heavy metals in it. Uh, I have personally purchased foods at Whole Foods, and I've tested them in my laboratory, and I've seen all of these things in those foods. I've seen the heavy metals, I've seen the glyphosate, I've seen the pesticides, uh, I've seen the, the herbicides, and I haven't even begun looking for things like hormone disruptors yet no doubt we'll find many of those things as well. As a forensic food scientist, I'm the lab science director of CWC Labs. I'm the author of the number one best-selling science book on amazon.com called Food Forensics. I know for a fact that much of what Whole Foods sells at a very high price is no different from foods that are sold at regular grocery stores. They come from, in many cases, the exact same suppliers. They're made with the same ingredients they contain the same GMOs, they contain the same herbicides and pesticides. They're no different except that sometimes they're 50% higher cost. So what Whole Foods is really creating for its customers is an illusion. Uh, it, it, it's a shopping experience, the illusion of living a healthy lifestyle and having the ambiance, if you will, of, a, of a, an inviting store atmosphere. It's the illusion of eating healthy when much of what Whole Foods sells is really not healthy, in my opinion, as a nutritionist, as a scientist, as an author. Uh, much of what Whole Foods sells, in my opinion, contributes to cancer, contributes to diabetes, contributes to heart disease, and Alzheimer's, and dementia, and kidney disorders. And they don't seem to be very concerned about that. At Whole Foods Market, values matter. So the fresh fruits and vegetables we sell support organic and sustainable farming. Whole Foods is a public company and they are driven by profit more than ethics or morals. They, they're willing to hop on the bandwagon of, of healthy living and healthy food and create the impression, if you will, that, that they can weave a tapestry for their customers, but they're not really willing to make good on that in many ways. For example, I met with a Whole Foods executive a couple of years ago, and I presented to her the evidence that they were selling products on their shelves right out of the store in Austin, Texas, that contained really alarming levels of lead and cadmium and mercury. And they, they took that information. We had a discussion. Uh, I laid it out. I said, this is a public health issue. This is a corporate integrity issue. And over the last two years, Whole Foods has done absolutely nothing about that. Right now, Whole Foods continues to sell products that they know are contaminated with uh, lead, that they know contain glyphosate and pesticides, that they know are unlabeled GMOs. 20 to 30 percent of Whole Foods products contain GMO ingredients, depending on each store or region. Genetically engineered foods are everywhere, in the salad bar, packaged foods, meats, and dairy products, yet we are not informed of each product because there are hundreds of genetically engineered ingredients. 
And now to see Whole Foods really betray the organic movement by, in essence, partnering with Monsanto to push this anti-GMO labeling bill through the U.S. Senate, it's, in many people's minds, it's the ultimate betrayal. Uh, Whole Foods, people thought, was a place that cared about them, that cared about their health, that cared about honest labeling and transparency and uh, corporate responsibility because that, that's what they espouse, that's what they claim to offer. But when you really scrutinize their actions, they betray those values and they betray their customers. And as a result, more and more people are, are saying they're not interested in shopping at Whole Foods. They don't want to reward a corporation that is being so dishonest with them, uh, a corporation that's actually promoting the interests of Monsanto that is dividing and causing an internal civil war, in fact, in the organic industry, with the Organic Trade Association now denouncing that bill that Whole Foods supported. With, with Whole Foods CEO Walter Robb, you have a very devious individual who is able to speak the language of uh, progress or the, the language of food honesty, food transparency the language of ecological uh, sustainability. But when it comes down to the day-to-day -day actions inside that company, those actions really violate the same principles that the CEO claims to represent. Um, there's a disconnect between what Walter Robb says and what Whole Foods does. And that disconnect is becoming more and more apparent every single day to the millions of people who are currently shopping in Whole Foods but are starting to question why. Uh, why, why are we supporting this corporation that, frankly, is, is now really aligned with Monsanto? You know, the one thing that Whole Foods and Monsanto have in common is they both profit from unlabeled GMOs. And neither one of them wants GMOs to be labeled in a human-readable way because they know that would interfere with their business. So my advice to consumers who are really health conscious, who who care about food integrity, who uh, want to support honest companies is to start looking for alternatives to Whole Foods. Look at your local health food stores or your local grocers or grocery stores that have an organic section or grow some of your own food if you can um, or limit your purchases at Whole Foods because you can get much better deals on many of those items somewhere else, uh, you know, at a lower price, the exact same product. It's, it's up to each and every one of us as food consumers to, to vote with our dollars and hold these corporations accountable. If, if we don't send a message to Whole Foods that says we're not gonna tolerate your allying with Monsanto and the crushing of Vermont's GMO labeling law, which has now essentially been overruled by the support of Whole Foods, uh, if you don't stop doing these things, Whole Foods, then we, the consumers, are going to deprive you of our business and our revenue and eventually we're going to put you out of business because we're going to vote in the free marketplace and we're going to in essence economically punish you for your deception uh, and we're going to at the same time economically reward those companies that that are telling the truth that are uh, more honest that have better corporate ethics uh, which tend to be smaller companies by the way they tend to be local companies I would advise people to go to local farmers markets or join CSAs, uh, community supported agriculture, join your local co-ops, grow some food, go out and meet some farmers and uh, support their local food efforts and cut out the middleman, which is Whole Foods. Uh, you gotta understand that Whole Foods is taking a piece out of every farmer's revenue that if you went to that farmer directly, you could get food more affordably and the farmer could earn more money. And so Whole Foods is not only the middleman, but they're, they're a deceptive middleman. And they are, uh, in many cases, displacing American farmers by promoting and carrying products that are grown in places like China, where the products are a lot more polluted and the labor laws are not very strong and the, the environmental laws are not very strong.